Hello everyone, Jeff Bauman here, and today I have a tutorial for my EDD 485585 students, and we are going to be looking at the unit overview and lesson plan template uh, for the unit overview and lesson plan assignments found on Canvas. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off here at lesson plan number one today, and obviously your view might look a little different than mine when you look at Canvas, but I'm gonna to go to lesson plan number one. And what you'll find is a series of instructions that I've provided for you, so make sure you follow those. And to get started, what we're gonna do, and this is the most important thing, um, you're gonna start off with the template that I provide you. So you're gonna click on the template, and that is going to bring you to a Google Doc that has everything that you need for the unit overview and lesson plan portion of this course, all right? So when you get started, uh, this should be view only. And what you're gonna need to do is make a copy. So you're gonna go up here to file, click on file and go to make a copy. And then you are going to rename this uh, something um, that, you can find easily in your Google Drive. So I might name mine uh, EDD 45 lesson plan, uh, whoop, Jay Bauman or something like that. And I already have a cop copy of my template, so I'm going to just use this as an example, but you need to make a copy for yourself and rename it, okay? So I'm gonna hit cancel just for now because like I said, I already have my copy. So right here for the overview, what you're gonna do is add your name and when you design your science unit it's your choice you pick the grade level you pick the science concept and all of this stuff that you're going to be looking at in the unit overview and lesson plans what i'd like is please make sure you complete your flip grid assignments first before you do this that way you have a chance to take a look at everything so grade level concept anchoring phenomena and that, again, was something that you learned about in your Flipgrid uh, reflection. So what is your phenomena for your unit plan, okay? You decide, you pick, and you have to add the information. Moving down below, you have a grid here that I'd like you to add your information to. So right here, what is the name of your first lesson plan? What is the name of your second lesson plan, third lesson plan, and you work your way down? What are the standards that you're targeting in these lesson plans? So right here, you're gonna click on uh, standards and you can click on that link and it will bring you right to the Michigan Science Standards. Really cool, you're welcome. Uh, but it's there for you to use. And so drop your standards in right here. And then your objectives, what are you focusing on in each lesson? So right here, add your objectives. There are probably gonna be a couple of them. And then what is your best practice or additive. So when you look at this assignment on Canvas, you'll you'll know that I want you to take three things and really go crazy with them. So wherever you use those, make sure you drop those in here and take a look at that lesson on Canvas as well. So if you did lessons two, three, and five, you would drop your best practice or additive. So if this was your virtual field trip, you'd put it here. If this was your Zoom conference with a NASA professional, you'd put it there. Uh, if this was students completing Flipgrid, you'd put that right down here in lesson plan five, okay? And then for your science unit, what are your cross-cutting concepts? So make a list of those. And the science and engineering practices, make a list of those right here, okay? So the first thing we see on the template is the overview. Now, this can be done last. All right, so after the lesson plans are complete, you can do the overview last if you'd like. Um, it's up to you. Some people do this before they design the lesson plans, that way it's all organized, but um, some people might wanna do it at the end after they build the six lesson plans, that way um, they know how everything looks after they're done building, okay? So to turn this in, very simple, grab the, the link off of share, so click share. And then what I'd like you to do is change it to where uh, anyone with the link can comment and make sure you switch it to that, copy your link, and then you'll turn that in on Canvas. Now you'll turn that in seven times. 
you'll turn that link in for your unit overview assignment and then they got your six lesson plans that follow so you'll submit the same link seven times now underneath this you'll have your lesson plan templates for lesson plans one through six and i don't want you to turn in lesson plans separate because i want to see how it looks start to finish your unit plan okay so if you're turning in a lesson plan by itself, I'm going to ask you to resubmit and I want you to use this template, okay? So as you move through the template, uh, this is the one for lesson plan one. You're going to provide a title right here. Uh, what is your name? What grade level are you working on? What is the concept? What is the phenomenon? Um, if you have an additive in this lesson, you'll list that right here. If not, drop an NA. Uh, what is the lesson standards, the objectives, uh, the prior knowledge? What do students need to know beforehand? And what are some possible misconceptions you might encounter during your lesson? Those go there. Uh, down below you have vocabulary. You should have several vocabulary terms that you put in your lesson plan. And I'd also like your definitions as well. So add those in and when you're done, remove the highlights right here. What are all the materials needed for the lesson plan? So list everything right here. Uh, what are your safety concerns for your lesson plan? Uh, how should the materials be used? And what does cleanup look like? Make sure you add all of that here. Uh, what technology is, are you incorporating in your lesson? So list that right here. And you should be using technology one way or the other, okay? Um, I don't remember the last time I taught a science lesson and I wasn't incorporating technology. So everything in your lesson should have technology. <clears throat> I'm sorry, let me say that again. You should incorporate technology in every lesson. Moving below the 5E lesson plan template, how are you going to engage your students? So think of this like your anticipatory set. For the explore, what will your students do? What will you do to support them? Explain, what will the students be able to explain or what should they explain? What do you need to explain? Elaborate, elaborate and extend, what will the students be doing? And then evaluate, what is your formative assessment that goes along with this? And anything you borrow from the internet, make sure you list that here under references, okay? When it's all said and done, you will turn in uh, this, template for lesson plan one when it's finished okay <clears throat> excuse me with that you are also going to turn in all of the learning materials that go with it that includes your worksheets your kahoot games that you build your quizzes your quiz allies whatever you build that goes along with this you need to turn that in if you're having a virtual field trip what is the url that the students need to go to and you can turn that in on Canvas as a submission, as a comment, or if you'd like to, you can put an electronic link right here under lesson materials. Some people like to do that, keep everything in one spot. That's a really cool idea, okay? So long story short, you're going to use this template for the unit overview and lesson plans one through six. This is the big unit plan for this course. This is your big project, and I want to see what you're capable of building. Simply put, I want awesome, engaging science lessons. So if you were the student in that seat, would you be just dying to come to science class the day of these lessons to learn? Okay? Think about it that way. Very important. So that is uh, how you complete these assignments and uh, everything gets submitted on Canvas. And as always, if you have questions, um, send me an email and uh, I can help you out. But you're gonna use the 5E lesson plan template right here to design your lesson plans for your science unit. So with that being said, again, um, make awesome lessons, do great things, make sure you're getting science done and uh, Thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.